Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will determine the value of VB, VC and VCB. So I will explain the step by step process procedure to calculate the value of VB, VC and VCB. So this is most commonly asked question in the university exam. So so you will get this type of circuit which you need to identify the type of circuit and then you have to calculate the the value of vb vc the vcb okay so today i will explain the step by step calculation how will you calculate the value of vb vc vcb how will you calculate the base current how will you calculate the collector current? How will you calculate the VB voltage? How will you calculate the VC voltage? So this, this I will explain step by step. So after watching this video, you should be able to calculate such kind of circuit. Okay, you should be able to understand such kind of circuit. You should be able to analyze such kind of circuit. And if you ask to calculate the value of VB, the value of VC, the value of VCB, you should able to calculate. Okay. So let us understand, right? So in this circuit, first you need to identify what is the type of circuit. So what I can see is this is this is a uh, BJT and PN BJT and which is in the common emitter configuration if i say common emitter you can see emitter is common for your input signal and for the output signal so this this reference for your input signal is emitter and reference for your here a reference for your base signal i would say is emitter and reference for your collector signal is uh, collector signal is emitter so this is common emitter configuration and you have got the vb value which is 5 volt you have got the rb value which is 4.7 volt and you have got the vcc value which is 15 volt and you have got the collector resistance which is 1 1 and 180 ohm so right so i would say this is my first number to find out the value of vb right so the value of VB is 0 .0 0 0.7 volt. So if you have studied about the, the silicon based transist transistor, you would know. Okay, so you might know what is the VB value for silicon transistor. This is for SI. So this directly we know. This for the silicon transistor the vb value is 0 0.7 volt so this this we know now what we do we will calculate the value of vc okay so in the second step i will calculate the value of vc so to calculate the value of vc you should know the value of ib okay once you know the value of ib then you need to calculate the value of ic once you know the value of ic you will easily able to calculate the value of vc so let us calculate one by one so to calculate the value of ib you need to apply the kirchhoff voltage law that is called kvl in base to emitter junction okay in this junction okay and the voltage across this base here is base to emitter if i would say is vb the voltage across base to emitter is vb okay the voltage across base to emitter is vb now let us apply the kvl in this loop let us say this is loop number one and this is loop number two so let us apply the kvl in this loop so if you write the equation for loop 1 so how will you write vb minus ib into rb ib into rb minus vb 
equals to zero. So here you can see plus minus then plus and then here you have plus and minus. Okay. And then again here you have plus and minus. So that is how it will become VB minus IB into RB minus VB equals to zero. Now you need to calculate the value of IB. The value of IB is given by VB minus VB. Alright. Minus VB divide by divide by RB. This will give you the value of divide by RB. This will give you the value of IB. So 5 volt I would say minus 0 0.7 volt. So this is 0 0.7 volt divide by 4.7 K. And if you solve this, this 5 volt minus 0 0.7 volt which you already know from here and divide by 4.7 k let me do some math for you so 5 volt minus 0 0.7 volt right 5 volt minus here 0.7 volt this will give you 4.3 volt and divide by 4.7 k and you will get the value of ib equals to 0 0.914 milliampere so this is very important guys so let me do like this your iv value is 0 0.914 now let us calculate what i said if you know iv you will ca easily calculate the ic so let us calculate ic so ic is given by what is the formula for what is the relation between IB and IC? So the relation between IB and I, IC and IB equals to IC equals to beta IB. Now you know the value of beta which is given here. You can see guys pay more attention now guys. You can see the value of beta is 50 and you will multiply 50 into 0.914 milliamps okay so let me do math for you i will multiply this by 50 and what i will get is 45.74 milliamps so this is the value of ic 45.74 Seven four. Let me color again it. So now you get the value of. Now you get the value of IC. So your IC value is forty five point seven four millivolt. So now let us let us apply the KVL on this loop now in this loop. So fifteen volt minus fifteen volt minus the ic into rc ic into rc okay so ic into i would say ic into rc minus vce okay minus vce equals to zero so how how you can see so the voltage across collector 2 meter is given by vce so i have applied the kvl minus plus plus and minus okay for this resistance and plus and minus for this resistance okay so that is how 15 volt minus ic into rc minus vc equals to zero and from here you can easily calculate the value of vc and the value of vc what is the value of vc the value of vc is 15 volt minus ic into ic into rc okay so i am so sorry guys since i am using snipping tool so i am not much comfortable with this tool but still trying to make you understand so 15 volt minus ic you know the value of ic which is 0 0.05 0 0.0 four five seven okay so i i write it here in the terms of ampere 
so this is in milliampere 45.74 milliampere so right i write it is here 0 0.0457 amps into 180 ohm this is the resistance of rc so let me do math for you quickly so 0 0.0457 into 180 ohm and you will get here 8.2 volt so that means the value of vc is 15 volt minus 8.2 volt okay and if you solve you will get the value of vce and the value of vce is now 15 minus 8.2 okay 15 minus 8.2 and your value of vc is 6.8 volt so this is your second question you solve you got now you got the value of vbe you got the value of vc to get the value of vc you need to calculate first the base current iv here ib then you need to calculate the collected current ic by using this equation ic equals to beta ib and then you have to apply the kbl on loop number two a second loop or collector to emitter loop and by applying the kbl you can solve it for vc now you have arrived your third question what is your third question you need to find out the value of vcb okay so what is the vcb vcb stand for vc minus vb what is the vcb vcb equals to vcb equals to vc minus vb and what is vc vc equals to vc what is vc so you need to call you have got the value of vce so what is vce vce equals to vc minus ve so you know this vc minus ve so you know the value of vc you know the value of you know the value of ve so the value of ve is zero volt since your emitter is tied with the ground so your value of v is zero volt so you can see your vc equals to vc okay your vc equals to vc and what is the vb vb you can see this node is vc this node is vc and this node is vb here so your value of vb is 5 volt so you can write it here 6.8 volt right 6.8 volt minus 5 volt let me solve it for you 6.8 volt minus 5 volt you will get 1.8 volt so your vcb value is 1.8 volt so this is your another answer guys so this is your third answer you have calculated the value of vcb you have now the value of vbe you have now the value of vc and you have now the value of vcb okay so that is how you will analyze this circuit okay if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video